I think creative writing is the key to improving English, I just do. In that way you can let the students own their writing and they will want to make it as good as possible. Their English conceptual skills and their skills with language have increased massively as a result of doing this project. And I think it's very good now that in schools you can get other subjects, math, English, history, whatever, taught through the medium of yes, because it makes it more interesting. So I found um, Blackburn Youth Theatre, which is coincidentally run by Pendle Productions, Tim Leeds. So I spoke to Tim and he said, well, send me the stories. So I sent him the stories and he spent the weekend reading them and said, you need to do this professionally. And it, even though one of the plays is about um, the X Factor, the interesting thing is that they were talking to me that they wanted the characters to be much larger than life. They wanted them to be caricatures. And therefore that gives me a great deal of hope in actually perhaps understanding that young people don't just watch vacuous television, but they actually send it up. And maybe we're coming to the end of the reality age of television, where, you know, you end up with people who want to actually watch some, something that reflects the social conditions and the social life that they live in. And it was also nice to see the stories progress as well with the students. Um, you know, they started with, with nothing really, just an idea. Um, some of the ideas weren't even there and they, they, they expanded on them and grew with them. And that was, that was good to see and interesting. I picked him with funny. I enjoyed um, I enjoyed doing the workshop with him. Hello guys! Is it? Is it you? I'm hardly touching it. Tim got us um, all working together, how to be in a team and trust each other. There's a simple thing we do in the theatre industry. It's called trust exercises. And it's about trusting yourself. And through trusting yourself, you learn to trust other people. We're going to play what I would call some fairly dangerous trust exercises. Favourite part is when we had to fall back and he had to, you know... <laughs> well done. <laughs> when I did Shakespeare at school, we sat there and we read a bit of Macbeth, then you passed to the next person, and they read a bit more, and they passed to the next person, and then it bought the pants off me and I couldn't stand it. I wanted to get up and do it, or at least have people get up and do it for me, to show me what it meant. I don't give out empty praise, I'm not complacent, or well adjusted. But I can't spend 50 minutes stretching and breathing and getting in touch with myself. And you? Wandering along, eyes looking over us, deciding who's doing what, who's going where, flick of the eyes, he's got a nice jacket, clean trousers, starched handkerchief, O levels for him. I drank the aspirin nearly down my throat, I drank so fast and furious out of this bottle. I was nearly sick then, I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't. They just kept going on, harder and more, every kick, every hit felt like a line of fire going through my body. And the way they... They treat you, and the way they blame you, and the way they hate you. But they never saw me cry. Not one of them saw me cry. We were plunged into darkness, prevented from over-familiarity with the characters by the simple fact that we couldn't see them. I don't know, Princess. They'll be in the hospital by now. Three days to put four plays or four short plays isn't a very long time. So usually, maybe you'd have a two-week rehearsal period for one play. So I think that's been quite an experience. Usually, you'd have, you know, you'd you'd break things down a little bit more, and you'd have the chance maybe to get more into your character and um, and to play around with different ideas. And I think it's been, you know, a matter of. We've really got to get on with it and try and give everything you've got as quickly as possible. I'm really surprised uh, from the background of animal care. That's absolutely crazy that they've produced these. It's really 
a really good concrete grip that enables us to bounce other things off. It's probably not what they'd expected. Yeah, I mean, we, we found them really, you know, really enthusiastic and uh, I think there's four of them that have really got involved in terms of the performance side of things. And they've really committed themselves to, to the project and um, just been up for anything really, which is, you know, it's really refreshing to see people have that kind of enthusiasm and, and energy for something. So far they've all been really involved, I was really impressed with how much they've um, sort of contributed to it and the stories that they've come up with are really, um, they're really fresh. It would be easy for them to sort of just have, you know, sort of the same stories coming through but each one is so different and has a really different feel to it. They all seem really open to what's going on um, and I think just kind of talking to them and as an actor, asking them, okay, so you've written this play, would you prefer this, or how do you see it? How is this going for you? This is your play, this is how you envisaged it. Taking place, are we saying this in the right way? It's having that constant source of potential feedback and, and wanting to do what they've done justice, because obviously when I first saw the script, I thought, well, yeah, they're, they're quite interesting, oh, we can do stuff with that, but I never imagined it would end up the way it has ended up. When I saw Tim change it, it looked um, really different. It looks better than what we'd wrote because it turned ours into a comedy, which made it better. If you go back and you look at what we've been doing over the uh, last few weeks with this project, um, this is taking theatre back to how it was in the late 60s and the early 70s and the 80s, where there was a gritty realism. And if you, if you look at what came out of the gritty realism in theatre, you ended up with soap operas like EastEnders. You know, I've never had a cameraman follow me, you know, in, in the rehearsal room. I thought that was quite different. But in a way, I really enjoyed it. I was, I, I actually, I felt like I was actually on live, you know, and rehearsing. Cause I felt, I actually felt quite famous in front of them cameras. things that I couldn't. This was a stupid, stupid mistake. But please believe me, I did it for you. I did it for us. It's a no from me. Oh. And to be honest, I think you need to work on your pitch, Kaya. All right. And I don't think you should have called Simon. Because right now, you really need us. <laughs> well, Kaya, I expect you can probably guess, it's a no from me. I think it was better what they did, yeah, because um, when they were through them, they actually did the voices, you know, because I didn't realise, because, like, for instance, Dean, he actually sounds like Louis when he was actually doing it. He actually sounded like Louis, the way he stuttered and that, I thought it was brilliant. When I was watching my play, I felt proud. I'm happy with it, because, like, we've all put effort into it, and, um, like, the final piece, and that was really good. And the old actor, she had a good. Yeah, my mum liked it. She was, um, she said man was the best. My favourite part was how the whole production came together. So I've learned that putting the effort in can help improve it and it works out at the end. I think the willingness that they've showed and just and it is a really it's really brave to just get up and do it with people you've never you've never worked with before, doing things they might never have done before themselves. And it's really like no it's they should be really proud of themselves. It's really nice to work with people who are just trying so hard. It makes you want to be really good for them. But it was so different because it was young people um, from college not even studying English um, writing plays, which to me is incredible. You know, it's not an easy thing to do. And so I thought, you know, the chat it's going to be a, a challenge and something completely different. I've learned I've learned a lot more about directing because I've shadowed a professional director and. Um, that it doesn't have to be perfect on the stage as well. Even if it's a professional one, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be good. 
Um, it was nice as well to see the um, confidence in some of the students' growth, um, especially the students that were acting. Um, they came, they went from strength to strength, and they really, really enjoyed it as well.